I am really honored to be here at the Design in Dharma Festival in vibrant Cape Town. My name is Simon Dogger. And I am going to take you on just a short journey. And all I ask you to do is to close your eyes. And trust me, I won't be able to see it. So I just <laughs> depend on you, on your willingness. Are all your eyes closed? Okay, let's kick it off. Now, just be, listen. And welcome to my world. What you're now doing is how I interpret, interpret the world around me by listening. When I'm outside on the street, when I'm crossing from side to side, I listen. And I happen to experience a, quite some beauty within that. And the next step, what we're going to do, since this is a design festival, we are all able to be creators. And a whole lot of you are going to make an auditive aesthetic product. And we do that by clicking. And you can all participate. Let's have a tryout a little bit louder. Yeah, that's it. That's good. Even louder. Just do it for a little while and try to listen to the sound aesthetica of this moment. It's incredible. So, congratulate yourself by making something for this moment. It's, for me, this is a, of, of an uh, outstanding uh, auditive aesthetica and also I know how many people are standing here, right here. So. It's also a function. Now, just to continue that, I still hope you all have your eyes closed. Is it okay? Are you doing well? Nice. So the next thing that we'll do to finish off this journey is that we're traveling back home to the safe place where we're coming from, the place that we desire, the place that we find the people we love. And in that room, this is just all personal all individual, in that space, you will have to go and see the person that is most dearest to you, that you love. It could be your partner, it could be your children, and just try to imagine that person, looking at that person, looking in the eyes of that person, and try to make eye contact, and that you are both understanding each other. That's the most beautiful thing in life, to understand people. Imagine that when you walk out that door, you will never be able to see that person ever again. And this is where the emotion whisperer is about. The emotion whisperer translates visual signals into haptic feedback. And that means that it is translating body language into a vibration. I am actually able to feel somebody smile. Now, how does that work? Basically, there are three parts that are important. There is a glass, there is a pair of glasses with an integrated camera that streams video image imaging to a smartphone with a motion recognition software. Then, of course, there's the smartphone, and that has a relatively complex set of algorithms that are able to recognize the intensity levels of the base six emotions. And this is happiness, anger, uh, sadness, uh, disgust, surprise. And then the final part is a stone-like handheld device which is electronic and is actually having six physical places on the machine or on the device that is interpreting or representing the six base emotions through a dynamic vibration. And so how does it work? I will 
capture imaging from my con conversation partner, I'll send that to the software, and that software is able to recognize the intensity level of the emotions. So let's say a little bit happy or really angry. The next step it does is that it sends that data to the handheld product. And one of these places is representative for emotion of happiness. And that's right at the index finger in the beginning. So I can feel there that interpretation of a little bit happy right at the beginning of my index finger with a, a slow vibration. And then also, if somebody is rather angry, I am able to feel it in the middle part of my index finger. And so there I am holding an instrument, and I need to learn, of course, what these six fields of dynamic vibrations mean, and I'm able to interpret the emotions or the feelings of my conversation partner. Now, that's nice, don't you think? <laughs> so this is where it's at. And now then, what is my role as a designer? Of course, I am a user designer, which allows me to be uh, the distance between uh, what is beneficiary. Uh, that's way shorter for me. And the one thing that uh, I don't control that is the technique. And at this point, the software, but as well the processing speed of the smartphone is not to my satisfaction. But I don't need to work on that, you know? People, other people will, will be able to do that. So I'm just waiting for that. And that takes, to my opinion, roughly three to four years. What really is my business is to make something that is turning around the quality of a dialogue to understand people, you know, the most important thing in life, being able to understand other people. It's about the quality of a dialogue, it's actually about the quality of life. And so my concern as a designer is to understand how people react. In holding a thing, a device, is that okay? Or do you need to charge it? Do you lose it? Are you able to interpret this language as it is? And so I am also really thinking about other solutions. We've got about a whole skin that is able to um, be informed with, it, with this haptic information. You know, just like this. This means it's giving through information. And one of the projects that revolves from this, which is parallel to this, is to be able to put concrete to the sentence that the eyes are the mirror to the soul using artificial intelligence that are able to see at the micro movements of the eye and able also, for instance, to see the level of fluid, of eye fluid, and which is able to be of another sort of interpreting feeling of somebody else. And just to close off, I would really like to feel you when this is all done. So I uh, invite you to uh, come and feel me. <laughs> Thanks.